Welcome, and thank you for joining us here at Commitment Online, a place for all nations. We want you to fully engage with us, so feel free to gather your family, invite a friend, or if you're alone, we trust that you'll have a wonderful worship experience with us today. Our worship service will begin in just a few minutes. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, my name is Pastor Cedric, and um, every quarter we uh, have the opportunity to just slow things down uh, to reassure that we are a house of prayer. And uh, what we call it is our POW, it's an acronym for Power of Worship. And uh, what we do is we take some time in worship and prayer and worship and prayer and, and just to, again, reassure that we are becoming a, a house of prayer <clears throat> and also collectively houses of prayers. So uh, today, that's what we will be doing. So if you're here for the first time, uh, we thank you for being here. And uh, this is the, our intent is to seek the Lord. Uh, humbly and trust that God's going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think or imagine and that we serve a God who hears our prayers. Amen. Hello. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, God hears us. We serve a God who hears us and we're excited about what he's going to do today. So as people are navigating their way here and, and in the sanctuary, uh, we're just going to ask God to come and, and do what he does best in our hearts and our minds and and after which, after which uh, um, we're going to have a spoken word by uh, Letitia, Letitia, excuse me, and, um, and just to start our day off in worship. Amen. Uh, Father, we thank you so much just for the privilege to be here in your presence. 
we thank you for the finished work of Jesus Christ because it is by him and through him and for him that we gather. Thank you, Jesus, for being obedient to the point of death, death on a cross. And thank you for being our hero. You've done so much for us, even when we did not and still do not deserve it. But we, believe, what we, but we believe by faith today that you're going to do something exceedingly and abundantly above all we can think or imagine through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the authority of your word as we pray through scripture and just believe that, God, we will never remain the same as we enter your presence. So, Spirit of the living God, please come and do what you do best. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we all said, Amen. I look to my hero for resolution. My hero speaks to me spiritual evolution. I have watched my hero intercede. I watched him make the most unlawful person clean. See, he redeems those who need redeeming. His skills and gifts are beyond all our capabilities, but if you stand strong, have faith, and never lack humility, with his power and strength, he will grant you his will his will, and all the capabilities. My hero. My hero resurrects the dead. My hero sacrificed his son. I still got a stain on my heart from that bloodshed. My hero not just saves lives, he helps to create them. He's my provider for all needs. He's the reason I serve. He's the reason for all deeds. My hero. No fictional, non-fictional character. My healer, my hero is mighty powerful, mighty strong, mighty prominent, mighty important, mighty savior. He is my king of kings. And yes, I'm talking about the Lord. Amen. stand to our feet and join us as we open up with this song to the Lord, the Lord's prayer. We lift you up, Jesus.
Father, we welcome you here. Let your glory fall. Thank you, Jesus. Can we sing this without any music? Just let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your glory fall. Let's just sing that piece to that song together without any music, please. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as in heaven. Let your glory come. Shine.
just pray that for yourself. Just say, God, let your kingdom come and your will be done in me. Can you pray that his kingdom will come and his will be done for your family? If you married your spouse. For your children and your children's children, even children yet unborn. God, let your kingdom come and your will be done. God, let your kingdom come and your will be done in this church. Nobody else's will, nobody else's agenda, but yours, God. Can you pray that for the the church, the global church, the worldwide church? God, let your kingdom come, your will be done in your church, Jesus, in which you're the head of. And can you just pray today that his glory will fall upon you, your family, your children's children. Let his glory fall upon your home, within your home, on your job, in your community, in this church, upon his church. Lord, we need to experience you in a special way. Not only today, but always. You are the king of the kingdom. Come rule and reign in our hearts today. Forever reign. God, we surrender our our minds, our hearts, our lives, our pains, our past our futures, our successes, our failures, we surrender them right now at the foot of the cross. They're no longer ours, they're yours. Take control. And today we welcome you, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We say welcome Jesus, welcome Holy Spirit of the living God. And we just pray that you would do what you do best in the hearts of your people. We surrender our hearts and our lives to you, O God. Let your kingdom come, my God, and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We glorify you, my God. We magnify you today, O Jesus. We honor you today, Jesus. Have your way, my God. Speak to our hearts. Lead us in how we should pray. Spirit of the living God, pray for us, pray through us. Jesus, we pray as you sit at the right hand of the Father that you will make intercession for us today in areas we don't even know we need prayer. Jesus, intercede for us as you've promised. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we all said amen. Can we give man a clap? You may be seated. Now here's our first area of prayer. And we tried our best to make sure we're praying through the text. It says, Hebrews chapter 2, verses 9 through 10, it says this. But we do see him who has made for a little while lower than the angels, meaning Jesus, namely Jesus. (laughs) Because of his suffering, death, crowned with glory and honor. Why? So that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting for him, for whom all things and through whom all things, and bringing many sons to glory, to perfect the originator of their salvation through suffering. There's three areas that we're going to pray from that text. The first is this. Let's begin by thanking him that through the finished work of Jesus Christ, we do not have to taste death. Through the finished work of Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ was victorious over death, we ourselves do not have to taste death if we put our faith and trust in the living God. 
So can you just right now, just thank him? Just thank him right now where you are. Thank you, Christ, for your obedience. And because of your finished work, I do not have to taste death. Because you have died for me, you have died for us. We do not have to taste death, but we live eternally with you. We don't die the second death, as the scripture says, says, nor do we have to fear death. Jesus, he said, do not fear the one who can kill flesh and blood, destroy flesh and blood. I fear the one who is able to destroy both the soul and the spirit. But thank God you give life to us through your finished work. Can you also thank him through his finished work that we become sons and daughters? Now listen, you may be fatherless on this earth, but you're not fatherless anymore. That you are sons and daughters of a living God because of the finished work of Jesus Christ in church, that's something to celebrate and be thankful for. In spite of what you're going through, your daddy's got you. You could, The scripture says that he, through his spirit, he is placed within us. We cry out, Abba, Father, Daddy, Daddy. Thank him today for being your daddy. Thank you for being our daddy. Lord, when we miss our biological parents, if they're now with you, Jesus, sometimes it becomes lonely. Sometimes we become distressed because we cannot call mom or dad on the phone anymore and have long talks and take long walks and we can't kiss them and hug them and do all those familiar things, but you hug us from the inside out. Spirit of the living God, thank you for living within us and crying out and allowing us to have that divine relationship with the Holy Father. And lastly, can you thank him for his finished work that, listen to this church, that Christ is the faith. So he is the author and the perfecter and the sustainer of your faith. That no matter how bad life gets, and listen, no matter how you may think that you're not his, but you are absolutely his, nothing can ever separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. That because he is the one who starts it, he's the one who uh, sustains it, He's the one who seals it, and nothing can ever change that. And for many of us, for all of us actually, he's still writing that story until you see him face to face. Let him do his work in you. Thank him for the work he's already done in you. Thank him for the work that he's going to do in you. Thank him for the work by faith that he's going to do through you because Christ is the faith everything comes from him leads back to him everything is for him which includes you and me and us Father we thank you thank you for sending your only son Jesus we glorify you today In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we all said, amen. Can we stand to our feet as we continue to worship the Lord?
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let every heart in this place be holy ground. Oh, God, show us your glory. Show us your glory. Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. Father, we are so thankful that you are so faithful and you love us enough to send Jesus ahead of us as our great high priest. He is the great high priest who had entered the holies of holies as the lamb without spot or blemish once and for all. Thank you, Jesus, that you, through your finished work, you've ripped the veil of the temple from top to bottom and you've given us free access to the Father. In the holies of holies is where we can be unhindered. Father, we pray today that you would take us into that holy place. Thank you, Lord, that we are ourselves temples of the living God. be seated. Christ is the high priest. We're going to pray through Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 through 16. It says, therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the son of God, let's hold firmly to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses but one who has been tempted in all things just as we were or are, yet without sin. Therefore, let's approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace for help at the time of our need. Two things we'd like to pray through this text is this. Number one, let's pray that we all hold firm to our faith. Christ has finished the work, right? He has done everything we need. But we have a responsibility to what? Hold firm. To be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the good work of the Lord. It's our job. It's our responsibility. Listen, he says he's given us everything according to righteousness and good deeds. Everything vertically, righteousness, good deeds, horizontally. To please him. To love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And to love our neighbor. Good deeds as ourselves. Consider each other what more valuable, more important than yourself. Righteousness, good deeds. Righteousness, good deeds. But it's our responsibility to live a righteous life through the power of the Holy Spirit, right? It's our responsibility to live out our faith among each other, among a dark world. It's our job. It's our responsibility. He's given us all that we need. Amen? Can we pray that? God, help me stand firm in my faith because you have given me everything I need because we, you entered that holy place for me. Once and for all, you did it for me. There's no need for a high priest to enter every year to expunge my sins, but Christ, you did it once. You're one and done. God, give me the courage to live a life that is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. 
God, give me the courage to be lights or a light or the light in a dark world. Give me the courage to be a sweet smelling aroma where everyone, everything and everyone around me smells. Give me the courage to live a salty life that they can taste Jesus through my life. Pray that for your, your spouse. Pray that for your husband. Pray that for your wife. Pray that for the children. Pray that for your parents. Pray that for anyone who you know is a follower of Jesus Christ, that we will stand firm. We will love each other as Christ also loved us. Pray that for this church, that we will uncompromisingly live collectively holding firm to our faith secondly because Christ is the high priest in our life let's pray that we all confidently approach the throne of grace listen there's that grace that saves us right it's by grace we're saved not by works lest any man should boast but there's that greater grace that James 4 talks about that we need every single day of our lives. You fall short of the glory of God, run to the throne of grace. Don't just stay out there in the wilderness. Don't just stay out there trying to fix it yourself. Run confidently back to the Savior. Let him shower you with his grace. And today, if you're running away, if you're distant from him, no, run back. Because you can confidently do this because he gets you. <laughs> he, he has experienced everything you have experienced yet without sin. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Run back to him. Confidently go back to him. Lord, today we... We collectively, we confidently uh, are assured that when we need your help in our time of need, God, we run to you. We choose today not to run to any other created thing. God, I pray for that person, Lord, that in their time of need, they run to drugs. They run to alcoholism. They run to another person. They run to some other created being. God, they run to animals as well, God, because animals won't hurt them. I pray in the name of Jesus that, God, when there is this hopelessness in the hearts of your people, that we run to you, Jesus, and you alone. Give us that confidence, God, that you understand us. God, you're not our mother or father. When we did something wrong and we, we are afraid to run back to them because we knew that they'll have a frown on their face and they'll be so angry at us. But God, you smile and you, you welcome us back because that's what you want. You want us to repent and turn back to you. Lord, we repent we turn back to you. Forgive us, Lord, for being so slow in this. Thank you, Jesus. It's our great high priest to give us all that we need and to give us the space to, for grace to come back whenever we fall short, whenever we misstep, misspeak, Welcome that person back. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we all stand to our feet as we continue to worship?
You show your favor, your mercy, you restore me. What an everlasting love you show to us all. You amaze me. About that church that the Lord of all creation <laughs> that blows well that blows my mind <laughs> right I mean that the Lord of all creation just says hey Cedric I I hear you you know and the scripture talks about he, he bends he lends his ear he hears he bends his ear to, towards us matter of fact he hears our thoughts and concerns even before we express it isn't that pretty cool 
So everything that we've prayed thus far, everything that we will pray, everything we don't pray, he already hears us. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, if the greeters can help just to stimulate some of the prayer requests that were written on your way in. And we're going to uh, pray a portion of scripture and then after which that prayer request that you hold in your hands. If you happen to get your personal prayer request, just give it to somebody else. <laughs> All right. But in the meantime, we're going to read through Hebrews chapter 2. Verses 14 through 18, we're going to pray this verse, these verses. Christ is the source. This is our third topic and final topic for today. Christ is the source. Amen? There's no other source that we need but whom? Christ and Christ alone. Solo Cristo. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 through 18 says this. Therefore, since the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise also partook of the same. Why? So that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death. That is the devil. And free those who through fear of death were subject to slavery all their lives. There may be someone today who is fearing death. There's no need to fear death anymore. Verse 16, for clearly he does not give help to angels, but gives help to the descendants of Abraham. And if you put your faith and trust in the living God, you are descendants of Abraham. Amen. Verse 17, therefore, in all these things, he had to become like his brothers, you and me, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest. Remember I said he could understand our weaknesses because he was tempted, right? In things pertaining to God to make propitiation, this substitute, all right? He, he paid the debt. He paid the price. He substitute and paid the penalty for your sins. Verse 18, for since he himself was tempted in that which he has suffered, he is able, listen to what he says, he is then able to come to the aid of those who are tempted. Uh, I won't point anyone out today, but I'm sure we all are tempted by something. You may be tempted to listen to your own self. Right? How many times do we get in our own head? And then we don't even hear God anymore. How many times are we tempted to hear the voice of our spouse that it becomes louder than the voice of the living God? How many times as parents we hear the cry and the voice of our children before we hear the voice of a living God? Young men and women, same thing. Do you hear the voice of your parents before you hear the voice of God? No, it should be just the opposite. You don't obey mom and dad to please mom and dad. You obey mom and dad to please a living God. He is able to come to the aid of those who are tempted. So here's our two prayer requests. Since Christ is our source and we are his descendants, ask him to help you whenever you need help. So today, what do you need help in? What do you need help in? His promise is that he wants to help you. So can we pause right now and whatever you need help in right now, ask him for help. And we're going to believe by his, his, his matchless grace, his power, his authority, his promise and his word that guess what? He's going to help you. Can you pray right now on that? Personally to the Lord, where do you need help? No matter how simple it may be. Uh, let me let you into my heart right now. Something comes to mind. <laughs> We've had a water leak. We had a water leak from our refrigerator. And my poor wife and, and mothers and wives, you know what I'm talking about. She, 
because the house is your domain. She is all messed up right now because everything's all in disarray. It's leaked in our living room, dining room, kitchen, every the main areas of the house. And we've been having those, those fans and dehumidifiers in our house for seven days. We feel like a dry raisin. <laughs> That's what came to mind. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm asking them to help us. And you could pray for us as well. God help them. Because <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's uncomfortable. It's frustrating. You wake up dry and it's just, if you've been there, you understand what I'm talking about. So God, we just lay our, our needs down. What, whatever, God, I need help. Uh, my wife Lisa needs help. You know that this is frustrating for us. It's uncomfortable. Thank you for a roof over our head and provisions for, for you know, through uh, uh, housing insurance, homeowners insurance. But yeah, God is uncomfortable. It's frustrating. It's, we wish it could be done quickly, but Lord, we ask for your help. Somehow give us favor. Give us uh, the endurance work expeditiously. And God, I pray the same for your people. Whatever that need is, please move. And can you right now just make a covenant with God? Here's our second prayer request. Our prayer. God, I covenant with you right now uh, that whenever, whenever I need help, or whenever I'm tempted to take matters into my own hands, I'll run to you as my source. Thank you, my God, for sending Jesus, our hero, the hero of heroes. Thank you for allowing him to be the source of any and everything that we need at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, uh, prayer requests. Can you turn the lights up a little bit so it make sure everyone can read their request? And if you could just spend some time praying for that request. As you complete the the prayer request, you can begin to stand as we continue to worship the Lord. See on a hill of Calvary, my Savior bled for me. My Jesus set me free. And look at the wounds that give me life. Grace flowing from his side, no greater sacrifice. What he's done, what he's done, all the glory and the honor to the Son, my sins are forgiven. My future is heaven. I praise God for what He's done. Sing for the freedom He has won. Even death is dead and done. His life has over.
forgiven if that is it if that is it if he does nothing more we should be celebrating him amen he do, listen he owes us nothing else everything else is just a cherry on top that's all it is amen so father we praise God Lord we praise you for what you've done we celebrate you for what you've done. And listen, as you know, <clears throat> as a church, we don't traditionally collect an offering. We don't pass a tray and things like that. But there are multiple ways you can give to the work here at Commitment that the work can multiply continuously in our church in Columbia, South America, our campus in um, Mechanicville, New York, our campus in Wyomensing, Pennsylvania, what God is doing in St. Augustine, Florida, and I'm probably forgetting something else. And what he's doing in the public school systems and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What he's doing in your lives. I would just ask that you would just be generous. You know, as the Lord has generously given to you, give back to him. Because he deserves it all. Amen. Uh, we encourage you to prayerfully consider how you give through your tithes and offering. And uh, there's multiple ways you can give. I think they should be shown on the screen. On your way out, if you like to give, there's giving stations in the sanctuary, in the front, back, in the foyer. You can drop off a gift there. The greeters can help you also on the way out. And if you're here for the first time, and uh, hopefully you got a red bag coming in. If you didn't get a red bag, please see the greeters on the way out. You can get a red bag. And if you could just be kind enough to fill out the visitor's card in there. And that allows me and us to thank you for coming and keep you in contact with us and let you know what's happening uh, in our week uh, with a weekly wire that I put out to encourage you and things like that. Uh, additionally, what I didn't mention, we don't mention that often. We have a church app and our church app is fully loaded with all kinds of content and everything. Download the church app. You can stay connected. You can get alerts and all those different things to uh, remain plugged into our church. All right. Remember, uh, May 30th is, anybody remember what that is? It's the prayer gathering. It's, it's less than 30 days away. It's going to be at the Scottish Rite Auditorium. It's something that God placed on our heart to lead other churches in the South Jersey metro Philly area. And um, uh, tell everyone about it. Make sure you block that time out. If, did, who, hopefully you were there last time. If you weren't, you missed a good time. And uh, we're going to have uh, churches and pastors and people praying through their native tongue, you know, from Greek and Hebrew and all kinds of different things. Arabic, I met a couple of Arabic pastors who love the Lord. They're going to be coming and praying and we're going to be praying through the Lord's prayer again. All right. Just to seek God's face and to uh, turn from our wicked ways. So SJMP714.com, South Jersey, SJMP, Metro Philly, 714.com is the, the, the address blast it out on social media and get everything out there's actually 
uh, press kits that you can download photos and and uh, videos and stuff that you can shoot out on your own personal social media. So let's get the word out, okay? Make sense? And I think, are the kids coming up? All right, kids, all the kids, come on up, come on up, you can come up. They're gonna help us close out this song. Come on, come on, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Andale, 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 come on. Vamanos, let's go, let's go. All right, come on, we're gonna pray, we're gonna, we're gonna worship our way out. Parents, you can help them, all right? And parents, let's model to our children how to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, right? So, Father, as we go, I pray you bless us and keep us. And let your face, my God, your grace shine upon us. God, send us into the highways and the byways of life, compelling us to go and tell others about Jesus so that people could come in and fill every house of worship on this planet that's preaching the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Use us, oh God. We pray as light, salt, sweet smelling aromas, wherever you take us. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we all said what? Amen. All right. I wish I could tell you, wish I could describe it, but I can contain it, can't keep it to myself. There aren't enough colors to paint the whole picture. And not enough words to ever say what I found Wonderful and beautiful and glorious and holy is merciful and powerful Who are we talking about? That's my king We declare the glory Give him all the honor All together worthy Who are we talking about? That's my king There's no one before cry without joining the chorus there aren't enough notes to make the harmony it's the song of the angels the song of the ages it's all of the earth and heaven's symphony he is wonderful wonderful and beautiful and glorious and holy he is merciful That's my God, that's my shepherd, my protector, that's my king, and that's my rock, and that's my anchor, my defender. Come on, that's my king, and that's my God, and that's my shepherd, my protector, that's my Who we talking about?
Thank you for joining us here at Commitment Online, a place for all nations. If you're ever in the Philadelphia, Delaware, or South Jersey region, we hope to see you in person. But for now, please tune in next week here at Commitment Online. Thank <laughs> you.